Lem, and this is my mom, V. Thanks for tuning in, and today we're going to be talking about... We release a mini video letting you know that we'll be bringing a series of teachings on how to build yourself strong in seven different ways. So seven different categories on how you can build yourself strong. Okay, so today we will be addressing how to build yourself socially strong. Okay. So today we'll be addressing the first one of those seven ways and it's built to build yourself socially strong. All right. One of the first way of course is to try to connect. So if you want to try to build yourself socially strong, you have to try to connect with yourself with others. You have to make the effort to connect to others. And when you, once you connect, of course you want to start small conversation, right? Talk about things like current events, talk about the weather, you know, just crack up those small conversations and start small and you can build yourself from there. You also want to be supported. You know, once you try to build yourself with others, you want to be supportive of their views, supportive, supportive of how they see life or of how they feel things, uh, see things differently. You want to be supportive of what they are trying to build in their own life. And you want them to also, you, you want to receive support from them, but you also want to return support back to them. You want to be grateful um, for that friend, for that friendship. You you want to um, not be negative. You know, don't, don't be negative towards everything. If you are going to criticize them, make sure it's constructive criticism. And you just want to be negative and destroy them with your words. You want to show appreciation. You want to be supportive. You want to show appreciation for how they support you and what they do in that friendship to help build that friendship up. And you want to ask for, for support. You want to ask for their support. You want to give them support and also ask for their support. You want to address conflict. So we will always have conflict in relationships. Once you're trying to build our relationship, once you're trying to connect with someone else, you would always have conflict. But we have to be able to positively address those conflict without tearing the person down or tearing those down that we want to be in a relationship with or are in a relationship with. Yeah, once you start initiating a conversation with someone, you'll start to know more about them. So once conflicts between you, your friends, your family, your relationships, um, et cetera, start to happen, then once you know more about them, because you know more about them, you'll be able to be, it'll be easier for you to put yourself in their shoes. Okay, so, so another way that you can, uh, try to build this relationship socially strong is by listening. So you also want to have a listening ear for the other person. You also want to listen to them and hear their views. And again, you got to respond positively. And sometimes you just have to listen. You may not have to give a response. You just want to be a great listening ear. Um, and the 12th way, the last way that you want to build yourself socially. Strong. And you can do more than this, but this is just some key ways that you can build yourself socially. Strong. All right. Is to respect cultural differences. Okay. So the world that we live in today, there are lots and lots of movement, right? Population is increasing worldwide globally the, the word of earth is spreading it's growing it's increasing every day there are a lot of people moving into your community there are a lot of people moving out of your communities there are a lot of people moving into the united states there are a lot of people moving out of the united states and moving into other countries outside of the united states so you want to if, you, if you're connecting with someone and they are of a different culture than yourself don't just push your ways onto them. You want to learn about their culture, their views, what is respectful in that culture, what is disrespectful in that culture, what is kind, what is unkind. Some things that we might do here and think that it's good for us, it might not be good for someone else just because they were brought up differently. So we also have to, you, you have to do a little more work, you know, building yourself socially strong. is work. It's work. You have to make the effort. You have to work. But when it comes to connecting with people of other culture, you want to study that culture and get to know about that particular culture and get acquainted with that culture so that you can build a positive relationship with this person that is not of the same cultural characteristics, background, demographic as yourself. So you have to be mindful of that.
Uh, these are just 12 ways you have to build yourself socially. Strong. And we'll go over them again. You have to be responsive. You have to connect regularly. You have to be supportive. You have to be grateful. You have to ask for support. You have to address conflict. Then we'll be conflict. Not be negative. Show appreciation. You have to listen. It's important. Listen. And also learn about respect, culture, differences. So the last one that I want to address here is you cannot just... You know, I have, I'm, I'm not a person that can just enter into a group and crack a conversation and make friends. But I have a few cousins in my family that can just enter into a group and build a relationship today. Like, build it today, have a friend that they met today and started to learn. And they have a large, a huge range of, of social group, right? My social group is this, that small, and their social group might be this big. Um, because they are just a social person. So if you are not a social person, you cannot just come here today. And like if you move to a new state or move outside the country and you want to build relationships, what you can do is, is find those social groups. So social groups like different clubs, different social groups, you can find those social groups and build relationships with people in those social groups and build relationships that way. Uh, we need to have community and not be lonely and not just be independent and by ourselves. We need to have community. So one of the ways that you can do this is find you a local church. Find you a local church, become a part of your local church and build community within your local church. And that's, that's an easy way that you can connect with people and build yourself socially. Strong. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. We appreciate that you found value in these videos. We'll see you in the next one. Oh. Leave us any prayer requests that you might have. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to click the bell so you can get notified when we make more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.